Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just doing a little tutorial on the Anycubic Photo Mono X6K. Um, all it is, is this printer comes with a Wi-Fi dongle on the back. Um, as you can just see it there in the back. Um, and what it is, it's, it doesn't come set up from the factory. It's something you have to do uh, when you get it at your address. Um, and it doesn't give you any specific on how to do it. It's quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a, a little tutorial walkthrough of exactly how to set up um, that so you can run on the Wi-Fi and use the app. Um, basically, I do apologise for the noise in the background. I do have a Millennium Falcon printing on my CR10 Max. It's a three-day print. Um, it's coming on nicely. So hopefully you can still hear me. Um, and here it goes. So to start off, you want to open um, a notepad um, file. Um, that's all you need to do just open a notepad like so and then when you open it up this is this is exactly how you want to write it out um, basically you want to start it off by saying Wi-Fi has to be in capitals so you'll start Wi-Fi space account and then um, put the double dots in and then obviously after that you put your Wi-Fi name and that's like obviously I don't know whoever you're with you'll have a name for your um, your box at home your router hub or whatever you're using that you're connecting um, the Anycubic Photo Mono X to so make sure you put the correct name if it's got a capital letter in that name make sure you've got the capital letter um, you don't need to leave a space between that and the end also just put a comma on the end of, it, of that and then do a space and then next next line you want to put Wi-Fi space obviously the Wi-Fi in capitals again space password can be lowercase that's fine and then again in that you want to put exactly what your password is um, if it's got capital letters again make sure you put capitals doesn't have to be um, any space unless there is um, obviously in your password um, obviously everything has to be specific to your internet at home um, put a comma at the end and then all you want to do then is space again leave a space and the next line off of that is settings in capitals followed by those and obviously a comma at the end and that is it and then you want to save this file as Wi-Fi in capital letters just Wi-Fi simple as that save the file and put it onto the USB that you put on the, um, the printer itself so now once you've done that we'll come to the printer and all you want to do is go to print and you'll now see where it says Wi-Fi text you'll just press that and then you'll just press play as if you was going to print that file um, obviously it won't print anything and what that'll do then is it will take a couple of seconds and it will actually log your settings for your um, internet and it's that's basically it. it's as straightforward as that um, once you've done that you obviously you you can use an app, um, the Anycubic um, app that you have. You get it on your phone, on iPhone or Android. Um, and what that'll do is then you can see how far along your print's coming along. It, it saves you having to run in and out of the, the room that your printer's in. If you're downstairs and you just want to quickly check whether the print's nearly done, you can check it. It's quite handy, to be fair. Um, you can't send prints to it or anything like that. But it's just handy to have for those that don't want to keep checking on prints every every five minutes or is it done yet they could just literally just check on your phone and that is it well i hope that helps everybody um, if you do have any more questions in regards to that and um, but hopefully it's been straightforward just um drop me a comment and i'll um, get back to you i'll try and help as best i can well thanks again for watching goodbye